Hello, this is Ty Anderson with OfficeDeveloper.net, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a snapshot replication between two SQL servers uh, using SQL Server 2008. There are a lot of components to think about with SQL Server replication, but the main thing is at its base level is you need to set up three different roles. One is your subscriber role, which is the, the database that's going to pull data from the publisher role, the publisher being the source data, the sub the subscriber being the destination data and in between that you have something called the distributor role which acts as the server that's going to execute all the replication commands and take the data from the publisher and stuff it into the subscriber. In today's video I'm going to have both the publisher and the distributor be on the same server while I have another SQL Server instance that's on this server but we'll pretend it's on a different physical server that will that that additional instance of SQL Server will act as the subscriber. Okay, first step, we're going to log in, or we've already connected to my default instance of SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. And what I need to do is go to the replication node and under local publications, I'll right click and hit new publication, which will open up uh, you know, the new publication wizard. The first thing I need to do is select my publication database. This is my source content. I'm going to choose the VentureWorks LT2008 sample database. And then I can choose my publication type. And we're doing snapshot publication. There are three other types available. Uh, transactional publication, transactional publication with updatable subscriptions, and merge publication. Today we're just worried about the snapshot. Next up is to select articles. And these are the objects within our database that we want to make available for replication. I'm going to select everything. And we just have a few objects here and there. But then within the tables, I can select everything. But if I really wanted to say, hey, for customers, I don't want to worry about middle name and password hash and all that, I could fine tune and cherry pick what I want. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it selected with everything. I'll click Next. And now on this page, we have article issues which are things that SQL Server wants us to know about that might affect our publication, such as table referenced by views are required. In this case, I've selected everything, so I'm not real worried about this. You know, even objects referenced by stored procedures are required. Again, no kidding. So it, somewhat helpful, but since I selected everything, it's not really relevant. But if it's, it's worth looking at if you have other issues that might affect your applications just to make sure you're going to be okay. We'll click Next. Now filter table rows is you can add a filter to your select statements for your tables and exclude certain data. So I could click add. I could say choose the customer table and say last name. So it's going to be select published columns from sales LT customer where last name is like you know a percentage sign or wild card. And then that way I'd get only the customers that begin with the letter A. I want to get everything so I'm not going to apply a filter but it's good to know that that's there. We'll click Next and now the snapshot agent is to specify when we want to run the snapshot agent. In this case I want to create the snapshot immediately and keep the snapshot available to initialize subscriptions but I could also set up a schedule as well that hey only once daily or once every hour how, whatever you need it to be. You have that flexibility. I'll click Next. And now for my security settings, I'm going to use my administrator account. I'm going to fully acknowledge that that's not a best practice, but this is my demo machine. And uh, a lot of times for demos, I ignore best practices. But here you'd want to set up another account that you would e execute the replication jobs with. Uh, maybe call it SQL replication. But this is a demo. So here we go. I might have fat fingered it. Nope, I didn't. Great. So I have my snapshot agent set up. We'll hit next. And now what do we want to do at the end of the of the wizard is just go ahead and create the publication. I have the choice as well to generate a script with steps to create the publication, but 
uh, here I want to keep it simple go ahead and create the publication click next we'll see the summary and I actually have to give the publication a name and I'll call this AdventureWorks LT 2008 snapshot and finish we'll see that it's going to take care of three things one is to create the snapshot next would be to add the articles and then the last step is to start the snapshot agent if this was the first time I would configured this server to be a distribution or a distributor role it would have created that first before it created the snapshot uh, in this case it's not the first time I've, I've done replication on this server so it didn't do that but it, just so you know okay I'll click close and we'll move on to creating our, our subscription and now the subscription I'll use another instance of SQL Server 2008 running on my server this could just as easily be another server on your network or outside the network uh, you just have to connect to it uh, within SQL Server 2008 Management Studio here I'll, I'll take my BDC instance and I'll connect to it and once again I'll go to the replication tab or folder or node it's not really a tab folder node what have you I will right click on local subscriptions and create new subscriptions I'll ignore the welcome page and I need to choose my publication it's going to default to to publishers within this instance of SQL Server which there aren't any so I need to go find them and I'll go right back to my d default instance of SQL Server and it will not only list my snapshot or my publication but it all automatically select it which makes it super convenient and I'll hit next and I have two choices for the snapshot agent who's gonna run it the first choice is to run all agents at the distributor which is a push model where the distributor says okay I've got these subscribers and I'm gonna push them at whatever you know whether it's on demand or you have a schedule whichever another option is to run it at the subscriber server which would pull them and at the same time you could run them on a schedule and all that I am going to choose run all agents at the distributor which gives me a more centralized control also has the chance of, of being a resource hog but again everything's happening on the same server here in this demo so it doesn't really matter I'll hit next and here I can choose one or more subscribers and specify each database so the subscriber is the BDC instance and I need to create a new database because I don't have one and I'll just call this AdventureWorks 2008 say OK alright hit next now I need to go ahead and set up security once again and once again I'm going to use my administrator account knowing full well not a best practice you want to set it up set up a separate account to do this and lock down its, its security so it can only do what it needs to and administrative is not a user on my system so administrator there we go We'll leave connecting to the distributor. We'll impersonate the process account. It's the only choice, so we're going to leave it that way. And subscriber, we're going to do the same thing. We'll click next. And here, the synchronization schedule lists the subscriber, which is our BDC instance. The agent location is the distributor, so that's who's going to run it. And then the agent schedule, I have the choice of run on demand only or run continuously. I want to run continuously just that's my personal preference so we'll click next and now initialize the subscriptions we are going to initialize it and um, do it immediately upon completion of this wizard and at the end of the wizard we want to create the subscription I'm not worried about generating a script I could if I wanted though hit next here's our summary and we'll hit finish and it should initialize the snapshot or initialize the database and run the, the replication and we should be able to see the tables so I'll hit finish alright there's a successful completion of the subscription now let's go look at the database we'll see should see the database that's great Do we 
have our tables. Let's refresh those real quick. All right. Created the tables. Let's select the top 1,000 rows. And there's our data. So there you have it. Not a lot of steps involved. Uh, you, you create your publisher, you create your, your distributor, and then you create your subscription, and then you run it. And that way you have snapshot replication set up with SQL Server 2008.